Hi folks, uh, today I will show you how to train your own uh, classification network for image recognition. In my case I have a project I want to block my own predators from taking in uh, preys. I have two cats and I want to block them from these. So there is a github repository you can uh, copy this and uh, do this uh, git clone uh, git clone and so on I have already done that so um, I have this in my uh, place here and uh, the first thing you need of course is uh, lots of images uh, in my case um, <coughs> there is uh, in my case, you can see here, there is a folder with data. And in that folder we have train. And in my case, I select three categories, and backgrounds, cat with praise and cat without praise. So I have lots of background images here who are just images without any cats, for instance. So. Uh, it have also run on an at the end on the Jetson Nano module, but I train here on my own PC Ubuntu with G GPU. There is uh, a play. Uh, the other here is, um, uh, for instance, here is my cat with uh, a mouse in the in in. Is mouth so so I will block that anyway time for testing uh, show my code so uh, there is also an uh, installation process you can uh, uh, go through this guide if you don't have install ptorch who are the framework and uh, you can take this in this guide you only need to go to this uh, step six you don't need to go through step seven and further on because that's if you want to code in c++ on your pc uh, anyway uh, you can use this base here uh, so the first thing is to check i will show the code uh, uh, visual code here so the first time you train you use this train pictures my uh, and here here we can see some interesting things during training i will show that later this is uh, some transformation of the inputs and so on so it's very useful to scramble around and flips and everything of the images so we could test this uh, 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 we should uh, run the code called train at the first time when you don't have a uh, next time you could use for instance load uh, load and train here instead then you already so now it will hopefully run on uh, 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 10 epochs through the uh, through the um, all the data sets and uh, at the end it will show uh, and export my images so uh, it go through all these pictures on one epoch epoch um, we will see if this takes a lot of time so i could pause the video for a while but we could see here for the first uh, epoch at least 
what's happened. Uh, it scrambled around these uh, data and uh, then at the end visualization and then export to an ONNX format and this is nice because ONNX is a possible uh, that's possible for Jetson Nano to to handle here we see that we have run through one epoch and uh, the training loss will reduce each epoch and so on uh, I pause the video for a while And now we can see uh, that we have finished our training, 10 epochs of training, and uh, then these uh, uh, figures popping up at the end. And uh, there is some test images here. Background cat 1 and cat 2. Cat 1, then there is something in the mouth. And here is another image where you can see the input data and for instance here we see the affine operation rotation and, and skew the image also some distortions all these uh, settings are um, managers uh, here, at, uh, here there you find the settings of uh, this distortion and, and uh, manipulating the, these uh, input images and as you can see there is 224 by 224 pixels that's the inputs and here we see uh, all the three categories are used so when we are uh, happy with this we could uh, close this and then it will export uh, the model to an ONNX who fits uh, Jetson Nano. Uh, by the way it's possible now to uh, we have we should have a, a model, model here Here's the latest uh, model saved in in ONNX. It's exported there, and here is the PyTorch uh, model saved here, and every epoch is saved also. So if if you want to continue, for instance, I find new images. I will train, retrain the the whole thing. Anyway, it doesn't take too long, 12 minutes and 38 seconds on when I use GPU. Um, but, but if you want to uh, re uh, continue to train, then you could use uh, another script, ptorch. First of all, we could uh, use ptor, python, sorry, python. Uh, uh, load and test if if uh, if for instance you will test only testing once again uh, now we take some other images input you see here is my own cat and uh, in this case it have a prey there so that you could do uh, as well as a uh, load train and if you use uh, load and export you can load test and export you could use as well that's another uh, if uh, if you want to convert uh, this to an own X once again then you could use load uh, load test and export then you take the pt files 
and uh, once again you export it if you don't if you don't have ONNX uh, so you take these uh, here we see some images and when you is uh, here I print out some random things anyway it export once again to this file when doing that and as well you could use uh, uh, load load train then it will take the uh, load Uh, load train so um, what's happened now is it will continue from the latest uh, saved uh, uh, module and uh, do for instance 10 more epochs so it take uh, these and continue as well, uh, this uh, contain several files uh, regarding uh, the Jetson Nano, and that's the C++ uh, files. So, in this case, uh, this file is for the Jetson Nano when you sure in when you're driving the inference. Uh, you can see it also here here is uh, but that's also presented if you want it's presented uh, here we have the C++ file for inference and in my case I have push out uh, if if uh, there is a cat with the prey, then I will uh, uh, set the pin to controlling an Arduino for an, uh, blocking a servo, servo for blocking the door. And uh, it runs on a Jetson Nano of about 30 seconds so it's quite uh, fast anyway here we see that we are continue because we have train loss very high low for uh, train loss is very low it will continue from here and go through once so uh, continue with it because it was uh, at this uh, level for the first time it was trained uh, I should stop here, I think. Bye-bye uh, so far.